With the world of AI and automation, we are entrenched in a new revolution as to how to improve our productivity workflows. But for me, I figured out how to use a lot of this automation stuff months ago. I don't know where you guys have been. In fact, I've been using a workflow inside of my phone and Notion for months now that has allowed me to capture every idea I've ever had. In fact, it's allowed me to simply press a shortcut and then capture anything I say and bring it right into my journal in Notion. Wanna see what it's all about? I mean, you probably do. I mean, if you don't, I guess I'm a little bit concerned considering the fact that you like clicked on the video and that we're here. I do wanna say this video is sponsored by make.com. However, I've been using make.com. I spent money on the platform out of my own free will for a long time now. So when they reached out saying they wanted to make some videos with me, I was just happy to do it. And I was gonna make this video anyway, so here we go. So for a while, I was struggling with journaling inside of Notion. I have a journal that I wrote in for every day for like a year. However, then I fell off the train a little bit. And one way that I was able to be more consistent was by audio journaling. Now, if I click on this, you'll notice that I have a audio journal entry and it actually links out to a hyperlink to my Google Drive. Now with this, you might be saying, okay, Dimitri, I see what you're doing. You, uh go into your your phone and you 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 know you do a voice memo and then you upload it and all that sort of stuff and I'd say no that would take too long I don't have that kind of capacity to get through friction come on guys no what I do is is I go into my phone and using a handy standy shortcut that I made if I go to the shortcuts app if I go to audio capture or audio journal I have set up a shortcut that allows me to record audio and then have it press share recorded audio now, when I press audio journal, you'll see that it prompts this screen, forces me to focus on what I'm journaling about because if I were to swipe off of it, oh no, I'm not journaling anymore. And the truth of the matter is when you're journaling, it's best that you don't go on your phone screen for anything else. So basically I'm able to write down whatever I'm saying in my head through an audio journal rather than journaling it out. And then when I press tap to finish recording, I then press drive and then press upload and by the power of automation what ends up happening is I have it set up so that I am watching files within my drive right here so you can see that this popped up now every eight hours what I have set up is so that this automation will run I have a filter here that says okay the name is gonna be audio recording so that it's not just like finding any new file in here but when I have an audio recording then it will create a database item within the journal that I have in Notion, have the start date be now. And then I also have a little bit of a thing that just updates the emoji because I think it looks cuter like that. But let's pretend like it was eight hours on the interval. You can set this to any time that you'd like. I'm on the core plan and it's gotta be at least a minute intervals if you're on the free plan, it's a little bit longer. But I'm gonna press run once and then you'll see that it also moves that audio into the audio journal recordings. Now you might be saying, Dimitri, why don't you just like upload it through that? Why would I take the extra effort? That's what automation is for. This is why I use it. It is convenient. Why would I do something that wouldn't be the most convenient option? And then now when I go into my daily planner, for example, I can be like, oh, let's go to my daily highlights, let's go to today, let's click on this. And then when I press play, you'll see the, the, that I'm not lying. best that you don't allow yourself to go on your screen, your phone screen for anything else. So basically I'm able to, I sound way worse with the iPhone than I do on this microphone. It's almost like I paid hundreds of dollars for this and it was very much worth it. But you can see how easy that is to sort of connect the two together. And with a transcription software, what you can do is if you wanted to, you could add something like, you could add something like Trint or other transcription tools that then can take that audio file and add it into the journal if you want to see it through a text format. This is the kind of stuff you can do with automation. This is the kind of stuff that I've been doing with automation for a while now. I'm going to make more videos on make.com and how it's absolutely automated a huge portion of the stuff that I do in my life. I mean, a task capture with it. And I really recommend that if you haven't yet, you check out the capabilities of Apple shortcuts and mix and match it with make.com because shortcuts with automation, one of the best combo workflows you'll find out there. If you want to see more cool tips and tricks on how to automate your workflow, make sure to check out the other videos on my channel. And I'd like to thank make.com once again for sponsoring this video. 
But make sure you also check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.